basically what I do um, from start to finish. So this one's, you know, just one flash. And it's the lighting is pretty perfect, so if you see how bright they are, they're they're not that bright, but we can always brighten them up. So first things I do is um, I already have the preview or sorry not preview uh, preset so what that is is my highlights over here shadows um, exposure so I'm just gonna bring that down and I'll slowly drag this up so you can see uh, clarity I put plus five because I smooth it out pretty good in luminance blacks are down whites are about just a little bit low but again, that's going to depend on how, what they're wearing. If they wear a lot of white, you don't want to do a lot of highlighting or uh, bring it down the highlights. Um, hue. This is just, I use hue to make greens less green. So if you push them to the right, they're, they're less yellow and more green. If you push them to the left, they're more ugly yellow, brown. Saturation. Um, I always come down on the reds and the greens and the yellows it just depends on that's usually natural light photos I have to take the greens and yellows down because it's too neon green and I always have the blues up because it makes the sky look better um, and then the purples are always down a little bit usually just to take the purple out of a white shirt you just scroll these down here and then your, this is your luminance, which I sent you the preset, but this is, my luminance is pretty high. So if you want to screenshot that and, and then make it your own. And then again, depending on, like, if it's getting dark and it's really vignetted already, I bring the vignette up. Um, but let me show you what I do with the the radial. I use the radial gradient most of the time and in this case I'm gonna want to just brighten up this side so I just make it like yay big so it's not really on her much and then open it up and then usually I gotta add yellow because it's it'll be like more of a blue and then maybe some tint it with more purple tone okay and then Looks like I can use their hair is their hair is kind of dark, so you can pull shadows as long as their hair doesn't look weird as well. So I would pull shadows to there. Come down on the radial. And you don't want to make this guy too much, so obviously it's gonna be mainly that background grass. And then I'll pull the shadows to give that grass a little bit more. Straighten the horizon. And that's pretty much it. Like, maybe I can add a little bit more yellow. But what I, the main thing I want to show you here is the... So the radial gradient is here. So if you have like a bunch, like down, you can see down here I've got one. So the background's kind of dark. You can you sync it with the yeah. I gotta click the mask here and you can sync it. <clears throat> and then it'll carry over your mask. I got a big spot on my lens, as you can see. <laughs> now, if you if you do if you click it off there and make it really close, you can. You can sync just this to all the photos, so you only have to do that one time for the one specs or any specs that you get. Um, <clears throat> okay, but back to he's uh, this radio filter wasn't exact, obviously. So um, let's see how. Yeah, I still like it, but we're gonna make it less. I just want to see that grass a little bit in the back, and they're actually the flash was closer. To them 
So we're going to have to do some highlights, bring them down a little bit, um, and then see how the sky is bright here. We're going to just bring this down so it's just the grass. And again, even if you didn't do it, it's fine. And then if you see a shirt here, you don't want to take too much white out of it to make it look like you obviously pulled it. So whenever you do highlights or shadows, you want to make it look like you didn't obviously pull the shadows or pull the other stuff. But that's pretty much it. So gradient, the reason why I don't use the sky, I'll use the sky. When you go up here to plus and you select sky, when you when you sync that to other photos, you have to go in there and it has to relearn. So let's just we'll do it a little bit. So the sky is done. Let's make it darker. Now let's make it let's make it fun pink. Anyways, when you sync, so those photos are still highlighted, so we sync, click this other mask, it'll have a little exclamation mark. You sync it, you have to say replace because it's wanting to know if you want to keep or replace what you already did. So now when you go under these, you have to actually click on the mask on each one and, and it has to relearn the, where the sky is so you click sky again and then it'll it actually saved all the, the, the settings so it'll be pink again it's just one extra step but if you obviously if you did 20 photos you don't have to do that every time um hope this helps if you have any questions let me know